All right, YouTube, now I'm going to show you how effective this thing can be. And here's a 40-gallon tank. It's got some uh, little bee babies in it growing out and about an inch of water in this 40-gallon breeder left. And I already got the water temperature set, and I already got the uh, dechlorinator in. We'll see how long it takes to fill a 40-gallon tank with this device. <laughs> There we go, and it's going around, and I'm not going to just sit here and watch this tank fill. I'll take you for a little walk around and show you a few things I got in the fish room here. All right. Well, I kind of wanted to show you guys how fortunate I am that I got, I got a sump in my basement. That's where all my drain lines to the fish room run into, and when it gets to a certain level, it will uh, kick on, and it'll blow all the water up this pipe and out into my backyard. That's the no bucket system for the drain. <laughs> and take a peek at my drain lines. How I got my drain lines in for all these tanks on this rack. I'll take a quick look at that. I'm going to do a video on this rack later. But there's three three spots that I can put a gravel vac or a siphon or whatever I'm going to drain them with into and it'll run right on down here. And boom into my sump and when it gets to a certain level the pump will kick on and up and out it goes to the backyard. And that pipe runs all the way down the room in the corner comes all the way up both this side over here. And yeah, God this place is a mess. Look at this. But yeah that's how I drain my water. Let's go check on this 40 see where it's at been a minute and a half. We're almost halfway full. Getting close. And this tank, there's a breeding pair. There's another breeding pair of angels back there, but they're just, uh, I got these guys on hiatus. I don't want no angel babies right now. At least this pair and that pair, you've seen them before. And eventually I'd like to get this table over here, see if you can see this, got a bunch of tanks on this big heavy laundry table. <laughs> I'd like to eventually get these over into the main portion of the fish room, which is over here, but <coughs> yeah, I'm still working on a lot of stuff down here, but there's big old Jack. Jack Daddy, he's the big boy. Alright, let's go over here and check this tank again. Okay, we're approaching three quarters. And it's been about three minutes, so I'm going to say this is going to be about a five minute fill up on this. Take a peek at some other stuff here. There's another big old Jack Dempsey in there. There's Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Hey, what's up with Buddy? He's looking a little better today. He hasn't been messed with, so. <laughs> ah, the reflection, of course. Got all these lights on down here, but. All right. He's getting bigger by the day, I think. But anyway, okay, we're here for the duration, I guess. It pumps the water right in at temperature that you set at the sink. And okay, we're coming up on about four minutes, which isn't a lot of time to fill a tank like this, especially if you've been doing it with buckets. But it seems like a long time to somebody who's in a fish room that has to do 30 of these. But but for your average person doing one or two tanks, it's a real blessing, actually. Oh. Getting pretty close to the top now. Pretty close to the top now. 
going on about five minutes. I was about 30 seconds on the clock when I started, so about four minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be about a five minute fill up here. Because these are peacocks, I'm not going to fill it up to the tippy top in case they do a little jumping, but you can see how high that is. I'll give it a full five minute run here, see how high it gets. It'll be damn near full. Yep, there it is. Got about, not even an inch, half inch. I'm gonna shut it off there because I don't wanna overfill it, but. So there you have it, that's my uh, aquarium filling device, I'll just call it. <laughs> But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.